Hey guys, Kadri here and welcome back to another sort of, not, I don't know, it's, it's a review but it's, it has, um, as you've probably seen from the title, a little room tour in it as well. Um, this is obviously my 100th video as you can also tell by the title and I, can't, I don't really know what to do with it, what to do for the 100th video but I felt I had to do something special. So um, I thought I'd review myself here as a custom. If you guys watch my live streams, you will know that this car right here is me in car form. And uh, so I thought I'd review this and um, just show you around my room, I guess. I, I know some people in the live streams have seen it before, but I'll show you guys who don't watch them or haven't been able to catch a live stream yet or watched it when it's been uploaded. You guys will get to see that. Um, and so I thought we'd start off with the custom first and then we're going to okay, go on to the uh, room tour later as well. Um, so this is obviously a Lightning McQueen, quite an old one at that, uh, probably like... 2007 something like that so quite an old McQueen one of the first ones you can probably tell by like the wheels and that it's, the eye is a bit old now <laughs> so it's been around for quite a while um, probably like you think car's been like 11 years so it's probably like yeah probably like 10 years old so maybe even older than some people watching right now um, so I thought I'd uh, this I made this custom a long time ago probably back in like I don't know 2009 something like that uh, so it's one of the first ever customs <laughs> that I ever did. Obviously, I didn't do it. I was young, quite young at the time. My dad did it for me. Uh, all it is is a standard McQueen that's been painted green and it's got some bubbles on the side and a 95 on the top. Some people in my live stream said I should give it a sponsor, but I don't know if I'd be that good at drawing it on, so I just kept it like this. I thought I'd just keep it like this, and this looks all right. Um, just how it is, I suppose. Um, so I guess... We can't really talk about where it appears in the movie because it doesn't and we can't really um, talk about its releases because it has no, no releases apart from being made in my, with a little shed or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, this is um, my one of my only customs that I've personally made. Obviously, obviously you guys have seen the Mater with a working light here. I'll show you guys that again if you didn't see that, um, if you didn't see that review, I'll show that to you there. Uh, you just hold it at the back. Sometimes you you got to hold it. There we go. So there's the mater there. Uh, we I have like an all blue mater, which kind of went wrong. And then I have a couple lemons, which I sprayed that didn't go very well. Uh, but this is probably one of the best ones, along with um, the Apple Car Custom I made as well. My dad made as well uh, before I got the Apple Car Custom. You would have seen me review recently. So I've had, made a couple of customs uh, since the Cars franchise has been out. Uh, but this is one of my favourites because it's like the most unique out of them. It's not just being based on a car, that mater as well. It's not just being based on a car from the film or customising it. It's actually starting from scratch and doing a colour. So we chose. I thought I don't know how this green was chose, but it was <laughs> chose as this colour, which I quite like. Green is my favourite colour. Maybe well, it's starting to become less of my favourite colour now. It's more blue again, but it was definitely my favourite colour for a while. Um, so yeah, this sort of green, I guess it was like the only green we have. It looks a bit different on camera, it looks more bluey, but it's a lot more green in real life. Um, so I guess you can't really talk about it much more than to actually review it. Um, Alright, so as we start off at the front here, we have his mouth obviously, which is painted the same colour green. A little bit like the Dirt Track McQueen where it's red. Uh, it doesn't have um, any lights there, any the plate, like, any lights or anything like that, so it's just proper stock car look. We do have his um, hood pins, they are black there, I don't know where his sponsor would be. His eyes, they are black at the top and they are red obviously where it's quite hard to spray paint there. Got his blue eyes, <laughs> which is actually like me in real life as well. We got the uh, wheels here, the light year tyres, which are quite old as well, you can tell. With the bubbles that start here and make their way through to the side. We also have the window as well, that red piece there, it goes quite nice, the red uh, contrast. Uh, at the top we get the number this way, kind of reminds me of the next gens in the way they have it to the side, as you can see there. Kind of has it to the side, yeah, it's facing like the numbers a different way around. It's sort of over to uh, sort of the right side if you're looking at it at this angle. Uh, we also have his roof flaps that are painted black as well, white bit is chipped there. A couple bits are chipped because I've had this since I was a kid. Um, but yeah, it's a gas cap painted black as well. As we go into the back here, we have the window sacks, which are kind of rubbing off the red because they're quite old once again. Uh, we have black, sort of, yeah, black uh, spoiler pins and two dots for like black lights, which is very cool. 
uh, that's very nice there and then we pretty much have the same thing the bubbles on the other side as that obviously they're going to be slightly different so they're quite bigger on this rather than they're smaller I'll just do that so you can get a proper look at them obviously we also have his exhaust as well so let's uh, go over to the base here we have it's red at the bottom it's quite hard to spray them bits once again we literally I carved my name part of my name Dex in there uh, and you can see the where the rivets are gone and we have Disney Pixar Thailand so this is possibly even a 2006 car it probably is actually uh, so this car is probably about 11 maybe even 12 years old because they usually make the die cast a year before the film like as we know from these cars were made in 2016 so this car is probably about 12 years old near enough and the, the first place they made them before China was Thailand they never went back to putting new them and um, making them in Thailand but this has just been from China pretty much ever since so that is about it for my custom of myself. Um, I thought it would be quite nice to review this. Alright then guys, so now let's transition over from reviewing the car to um, actually you guys are going to see a new angle today. See, we're coming out of where the reviewing thing is. So I think we should start off with where I do review my cars. So now here, as you can see, if I zoom in, this is where I review my cars. I've got a couple cars down below of uh, ones I reviewed in the past, uh, just haven't really put them away. So we have my main tripod here, which I use to um, review here. And then we'll have it here, and the car goes over this side because the camera's this side, so it makes it look like this. So the cars are like that. And then obviously this is what you usually see in the background about there, uh, which is pretty cool. Now, if we start down near it, as you can probably see, I do like other cars as well do have all my consoles here as well um, I'm trying not to um, show my face till but I've got quite a few consoles here which you guys probably aren't interested in but I have my mini racers down here for uh, I got all of the first lot as you can see here trying to get a good angle and then I have um, McQueen, Fabside McQueen and the Florida Ramon if you guys would like me to review the minis and then just tell me in the comments I've got the bag there um, some cars here, got some of them things you might have seen in one of my past reviews there as well. Um, we got Graham there, <laughs> we got my custom Apple car and one that was a work in progress for the cars collector but we've bought him another one now. And also a sort of retro sort of king type racer. Got some other cars here as well, uh, very nice there. Now onto my cabinet here which you guys have probably seen from an old review as well. I have some cars up top there. As you can see, all the ones there. And as we go from here, I have all of these. You can see there's my Apple Car Custom sitting quite nicely into place. We'll go down to the bottom to some of my Car 3 doubles, ones I've already got. And then they've just got a couple of random ones on the bottom, pretty much. Um, now, as we go round, <laughs> you can see some cars there from uh, which I did have. These are the boxes which I keep all my cars in. As we open this up, I'll go to the wardrobe. <laughs> we have all my boxes here. This is what I was talking about. All filled with cars like this. So that will give you an idea of just how many cars I have in here. Uh, so I have quite a few. I've got a McQueen down there as well. I think I also have some in here. I think this is where uh, Taco lives too. Yeah, I've got some in here as well that I don't have enough room. Uh, funny how Taco managed to find his way up in here. Then got some uh, Doctor Damage as well. <laughs> they just found their way into the wardrobe pretty much. Um, look, I'm out of there. Oh yeah, I also have a spare Lightning McQueen. Um, the uh, Rusty's Racing Centre one. I've got the Carl's game there as well. I'm still thinking of doing a Let's Play somehow. And now this is my Disney store collection. This is what I was talking about in my most recent review. So all the way from down there up to the top. So I'll let you guys have a look there. And I'll just bring it down like this. Probably put some music over it as well. <laughs> Alright then, 
so now that that montage is done, I think it's only right that we do one for that cabinet too. We'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And here I also use this is what I use to put on my thumbnails and all that on my videos as well uh, just an old laptop really have another mini racer leaflet down there and as we go under here we'll be greeted with some very dark stuff but still <laughs> got some bubbles here got some of my cars free racers that you cannot see if I turn up the brightness or whatever yeah I've got some cars free stuff under here Jackson Storm, all that, all that good stuff. <laughs> so let me just turn down the brightness again. So that brings us back down into position. <laughs> there we go. There we are. <laughs> that is how we do it. <laughs> I don't know what the lighting's a bit weird now though. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway. Um, thank you guys for watching my 100th video, um, next video will obviously just be heading on one, hope you guys did enjoy this different style of video, if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a like, um, so thank you guys for watching, as always make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notification bell so you never miss another review, as always I'll see you in the next review guys.